we are responding in this area because it's an area that's obviously at risk with very close by a major outbreak of cholera with some cholera cases uh, in this part as well and at the same time it's a place where uh, where there's not many other actors and where we have established our presence since a while where we've been working in this place before building latrines doing sensitization um, so it, for us it was natural to focus on this place the population here faces many challenges. Foremost, uh, there's been a, a very large demographic pressure on, on this community because uh, most of the people here are IDPs that fled from, from Malakal, from the town, when the conflict hit there. They come on top of a population that was already pretty vulnerable prior to this crisis. So the, the cholera became like a third layer of, of challenges. Um, so that, that, that's one of the reasons why we tried to focus on working in, in this area. We set up a cholera treatment center, which is like a basic hospital that can deal with, with the people that actually have cholera. Everything that we do here has been in, in very much a collaboration with the South Sudanese Red Cross. Really from minute one of this cholera outbreak, we've been working together very, very closely because without this local buy-in and this local community that organizes itself through the South Sudanese Red Cross, none of our response would have, would have held and would have lasted for so long. We are working with the people, with the team with awareness, with the team with the center, with the team with the water, 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 Bobbed <laughs> ولكن <تصفيق> Today we are starting a distribution and a distribution also it is very important. It is a one of prevention because the receipts of today and Jarakan. They can wash their hand with soap and clean water before eating the food. And the Jarakan also they can uh, put the clean water in this Jarakan for drinking. We in Kodok here we are ready for the cholera. If there is cholera we have a power to treat the, to to take uh, cholera away from our community because every family every person he had information about cholera <laughs>